Windows 11 24 H2 is now available, and in this video, I will demonstrate how to install Windows 24 H2 on your system. This tutorial is applicable for both Windows 10 and 11. However, before we begin the video, let me clarify two important points. Firstly, this guide is for a clean installation, which means that after installation, your C drive data will be deleted. Ensure you back up your C drive data before beginning the installation. Secondly, to start the installation, confirm that your system supports Windows 11 24 H2. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, open your browser and search for the Microsoft Software Download, then select the first link. Next, click on a Windows 11, where you will find three options, Installation Assistant, Installation Media, and Disk Image. I always prefer the third option, scroll down to select the multi-edition ISO, then click on a download now. Choose the product language and confirm. Afterward, click on download, and the download will start immediately. After completing the download, search for Rufus, and select the first link, then choose the latest version. Once both files are downloaded, close the browser, open the file manager, navigate to downloads, and run Rufus as an administrator. After launching Rufus, connect a pen drive with at least 8 gigabytes of space, drag and drop the ISO file, then click a start. Uncheck all tweaks, and continue clicking OK until the process begins. This will take some time, after creating a bootable USB drive, simply click E close, exit the file manager, and restart your computer. During the restart process, press your boot key, select the pen drive, and hit enter. Simply click O next, then a next and again, ensuring install Windows 11 is selected. Agree to the terms and click O next, then accept. You'll see the C drive is automatically selected, and my additional file drive is indicated where I stop deleting drives. To demonstrate, select the first small drive and delete it, then the second one, followed by the C drive. Ignore the small amount of free space after your important drives, just select the top unallocated space and click on next. Now we are ready to install, simply click on Reinstall, and the installation will begin. Please note that it may take some time to complete. Select your region and click a next. Choose your keyboard layout and click a next. Skip the second layout. Connect to the Wi-Fi network and click a next. Enter the device name and click a next. Choose the setup for personal use or an organization and click a next. Now, Windows is updating. Please wait as this may take some time to unlock the Microsoft experience. First sign in with your Microsoft account. After signing in, create a lock screen password. In the privacy settings, I usually disable all options. If you wish to restore all settings, select Restore and Proceed. However, if you prefer to set up as a new device, click on No More Options, then choose Set Up as a New PC. In the Customization Experience, simply skip. Here, you can link your phone, but I'll choose to skip, as well as skip OneDrive. And now, we have successfully installed Windows 11 24H2. In the settings, if an additional update is available, just click on Update. In the File Manager, My Extra Drives are safe. And in the About section, you can see 24H2 displayed. So, that's it for today's video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.